Today on Political Excess, it's going to be Jill Biden for the Democrats up against Melania Trump for the Republicans. This was suggested to me in the comments. I'm finally getting around to it. So let's dive right into this. We'll talk more about it at the end. But real quick, I haven't looked into where each of these candidates would stand on which issues, but it's safe to say Jill Biden would be establishment Democrat. And Melania Trump, I don't know where she would stand on certain issues. And given how she is foreign, that would probably cost her some votes as well. Jill Biden seems like she would be more of a natural for public office. And at a debate stage, Melania Trump, she's ironically not going to get the Trump turnout in a lot of those Rust Belt and red rural counties. But let's quickly go through this. We'll do Alaska first, and that will be likely for Trump. Hawaii, safe for Biden. Back up to the West Coast, Washington, Oregon, California. Those will be safe for Biden. Nevada leans for Jill Biden. Idaho and Utah, safe over 10 points for Melania Trump. Arizona, that's drifted away from the Republicans, and that would go up to five points for Jill Biden. Montana and Wyoming, safe for Trump. Colorado, that'll be over 10 points for Biden. New Mexico, that'll be likely for Biden. North and South Dakota, safe for Trump. Nebraska at large, safe for Trump. The second district, that's the Omaha district, that will be likely for Biden. Kansas, that'll get just under 10 points, likely for Trump. Oklahoma, safe for Trump. Texas will dip under five points, but it will stay red, leans for Trump. Minnesota, that will just hit over 10 points, safe for Biden. Iowa will be leans for Trump. Missouri, low double digits, safe for Trump. Arkansas, Louisiana, safe for Trump. Wisconsin, that'll be low to mid single digits, leans for Biden. Illinois, safe for Biden. Let's go to Michigan. That'll be mid single digits, likely for Biden. Indiana, low double digits, safe for Trump. Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, safe for Trump. Florida, that will be leans for Trump. Georgia leans for Biden. In South Carolina, that will be safe for Trump. North Carolina, this was borderline for me. I kept it as a tilt for Trump. Let's go over to Ohio. That will be leans for Trump. West Virginia, very safe for Trump. Now to the Northeast, Maine at large, safe for Biden. The second district, that's the Redder district. That's a tough one. I put it as a tilt for Trump, but maybe it gets up to two or three. New Hampshire, likely for Biden. Vermont, New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. All safe for Biden. Pennsylvania will be leans for Biden. And the last state is Virginia. And that I have is just hitting about 10 to 11 points safe for Biden. And there's your map. 235 for Melania Trump, 303 for Jill Biden. And maybe you see this going completely differently. But as I said at the beginning, I don't see Melania Trump really firing up a lot of that Trump base. She's just not as well known as Trump. She's much younger. She's not really established in politics too much. She's foreign. And on the other hand, Jill Biden, she's going to have much more of a connection with that establishment Democratic base. She'll have an easier time with donors and fundraising. And who knows what positions both of these candidates would actually stake out. But I think Jill Biden would have an easier time running a campaign, presenting herself to the American people. And I think in the end, she would probably be an unexciting establishment, typical Democratic politician. But going up against Melania, She's just too much of a wild card, and not in a way that Donald Trump was, where he actually ended up having a lot of success. Melania, I just think a lot of voters in the middle would not want to deal with her. The Trump base would have a reduced turnout, and Jill Biden would gain about two to four points in most of these states, and that causes a lot of states to get close, like Iowa, Ohio, North Carolina, even Texas gets pretty close. Now, you can argue about some of the margins in these states. Maybe Indiana gets down to likely. Maybe Nevada goes likely. Who knows, but I don't see Melania winning this thing. Jill Biden has a comfortable win. Even if the economy was bad, I still think Jill Biden would end up winning this race. When it comes down to the personality, now maybe Melania has Donald Trump behind her to fire up the crowd. But still, with Donald Trump not being on the ballot, there's no question the turnout would be reduced. It would be interesting to see these two in a debate. That'd be a lot of fun to watch, see which issues they want to boast about. But this is just what I think. Maybe you see it differently. Maybe Melania Trump ends up being competitive, or maybe she gets wiped out even more. And a lot of these states even get a few points bluer. So let me know what you think. Do you mostly agree with this map, or do you disagree on six or seven? any states that's fine let me know down below on your way out don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video